The first way of defining DAG dependencies is by using datasets to represent a piece of data which has a unique string identifier. And if a task updates this dataset, that will trigger another DAG. Let me show you how to do it. Import the dataset object to create the datasets, and we are ready to create the first dataset. This dataset represents a path in a S3 bucket. Create a second dataset, and there we define the first task. This task date the dataset data A. We create a second task that updates the dataset dataset data B. That's it. Create another DAG. We import the decorators as well as the dataset object to create the datasets, dataset A and B. They use the same path to define the DAG object. Instead of defining a cron expression as we did there for producer DAG, we will use the dataset, dataset A and B. This data pipeline is triggered as soon as dataset A and B have been updated by the DAG producer. Now the DAG producer updates dataset B and A that trigger the consumer DAG.